Well, let's try the sofa, Ariane. Let's wow. try this. It seems Thank that we are now, we can now sit together. Yes. Ah, so soft. <laughs> okay, good afternoon, partner. Good afternoon, Glenn. Yeah, how's your day? Um, it's kind of hairy because I have this last subject of mine, Anafi, and we watch um, a video about brains, and it's really oh, cool. Yeah. How about you, Glenn? Yeah, uh, it seems that same as with you, but then it seems that we don't have class last subject, so that uh, I came early. Wow. Yeah. But uh, how about our fellow uh, AUPNs? Let's, let's ask them. How about, how about you, AUPNs? How's your day? Good afternoon, AUPNs. Okay, let's make a response. Okay. okay? When I say um, heirs of God, you will say we are. And when I say we are, you will say heirs of God. Okay? Is that okay for you? Okay, let's. Schoolmates? Okay. Let's try so, this. Let's try this. Okay. Okay, try. We are heirs of God. Amen. Ayos. Okay. Yeah. So it seems that we have already a chant. Okay, don't forget it. We will exercise in the following days. Okay? Okay. So, welcome everyone to our second day of our week of prayer. Mm. And now we are on the fourth lesson, fourth topic that we will be discussing. But then we would like to review what we have learned from the past day, yesterday that we have. Can you remember the first topic, the title of the topic in the first session that we have? Yes, hmm? led by remember? Ate Jeremy yeah. Davao. Okay, anyone? Anyone can you rem remember the title? It starts with O. Oh. O. Oh. Oh. Okay. Hmm? Oneness. Okay? Oneness What's... with the heirs. Yeah. Oneness with the family of heirs. heirs. Okay? okay? And, the un... and yesterday's afternoon, we talked about? A very interesting topic about... What's the title? Can you recall? Heirs of God's... Covenant. Covenant. Wow, and very good. I heard this so morning. Good. Okay, mm. what's the title this morning? Hmm? What again? I hear someone there. Different, Different to be similar. Yes. Wow, okay. that's nice. It seems that you are listening to every speaker that we have, the yes. messages. What have you learned? Yeah. Earlier. Oh, yeah. Uh, this morning, I learned a lot. See, mm -hmm. it's, you know, I am, the, I am the youngest one in our family and then the only boy. Yes. Same here. <laughs> okay, we are four. How about you, Aran? Uh, we are three and we're all girls and I'm also mm -hmm. the youngest. Youngest. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I've learned that um, comparing ourselves to our siblings is very dangerous mm -hmm. because we need to see ourselves and how God ble bless us with this unique talents and so we are different but we are also similar to them yeah being jealous okay being envious is mm -hmm. dangerous to your health hmm? it's dangerous, dangerous to, our to your health. health remember that thing to our spiritual yeah. health so how how about this afternoon what are we going to talk about yeah hmm? kind of excited what's the topic yeah the the title of the topic is okay in the desert okay oh. it seems that we i would like to you know Yes. If you can see this mom, mm -hmm. beautiful mom that we have, can you guess what's our topic this afternoon? This beautiful lady yeah. here. She's okay. a young woman yeah, here. Yeah, young woman. Yeah. Hmm? This afternoon, we will be studying about Moses and his mother, who? Hmm? Jethro? <laughs> his father-in-law, right? Any one of you who knows the mother of Moses? Starts with the letter... J. J. Very good. I've heard someone here. Oh, some, some said Jetro. Yeah. Yeah. A it's woman, Jetro, a girl. Jetro, right? Huh? Jetro. Jetro, Letter J. Letter J. Uh, ah, yeah. It's part in law. I don't know. What's, what's the name? I think the name is Jochebed. Okay, Jochebed. And for this afternoon, okay, what's the speaker is talking about, Aran? So our speaker is from the College of Health. And he is a nutrition and dietetics major. 
Our speaker this afternoon will discuss about the role of mothers and how Jochebed have been a good example for mothers. So, girls, you have to really re listen well and take a note so that you will remember and retain to your memory the topic this evening. And also for the boys. Yeah. Yeah. Boys, be, <laughs> listen to the sermon also. Listen to the messages as well. You know, we are not mm -hmm. the only one who is listening on this week of prayer. Wow. I was informed that our KLR, ang mga ating tagapagpakinig sa Life Radio 87.8, ay naikinig din. Hmm? Okay, let's uh, greet them. Hello, LR Radio listeners. Hello, Arian. Hi. Uh, okay. Okay, now... As we continue our worship service this afternoon, may we focus once again our hearts and our minds to God and to the messages He prepared for us. Let us remove every thoughts that, we will, that will hinder us in worshiping Him. The topic, the title of our discussion this afternoon is In, in the, the desert. desert. Once again, good, good afternoon. afternoon, heirs of God. I'd like to invite everyone to please stand as we sing our theme song. Into God's family we now recite Into God's family His love I'm so 
For our prayer thought this afternoon, I'll be reading from the book, Mind, Character, and Personality by Ellen G. White. Our Heavenly Father measures and weighs every trial before He permits it to come upon the believer. He never permits the temptations to be greater than the capacity of resistance. If the soul is overborne, this can never be charged to God, but the one tempted was not vigilant and prayerful and did not appropriate by faith the provisions God had abundantly in store for him. The focus of our prayer would be the development of our spiritual gifts for God's service. The sequence for our season of prayer this afternoon would be first, everyone will kneel down and our song leaders will lead the song to tune in our hearts in the atmosphere of prayer. Then we'll give the congregation time, uh, three minutes for personal prayer. Then we'll uh, sing a song again to indicate that the time is up. Lastly, Sir Gerald Ibanez will conclude. Let us all reverently kneel down for our prayer.
We would like to come to you, Heavenly Father, this very moment of our lives. We recognize your presence in our midst. And we are asking for the Holy Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Help us to humble ourselves before you. Help us to realize who we are in your sight. And give us the hope that since you have called us from darkness into this marvelous light in your presence, you will continually send your Holy Spirit to dwell in us and be confident that we are your ears, we are your sons and daughters waiting for your son coming. This whole week of spiritual refreshment we dedicate ourselves to you. Help us to know who we are, much more to know who Jesus Christ in our lives. Father, you have been so good to us. You have loved us. Our families, our loved ones, our friends, whoever around us. But still, we fail you in many ways. May we ask you, Father, to hold our hands and bring us to your dear side of the time that we may find rest and mix, we experience your love every day in our lives. Father, may our, our characters be molded after our Creator and help us to prepare ourselves for your son coming. That in due time, we will witness the coming of our Lord Jesus and meet him in the clouds of heaven and be with him for the rest of eternity. Father, today, once more, help our minds and hearts be sensitive as we listen to the message. And we all will go out from this hall blessed and ready to face the challenges because we are satisfied and confident that you will be with us wherever we go. Please forgive us of our sins and accept us always as your children because we pray this in the loving name of our Lord Jesus the Christ. Amen.
When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. When Jesus in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. Wow, you still remember that song. How about let's try to sing it using the mother. When mother in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. When mother in the family, happy, happy home, happy, happy home. Praise the Lord. I can feel here in the front that the Lord's people is happy this afternoon. Because I can see in your smile while singing that in your family, when Christ is there, you can cherish it, right? Good afternoon, everyone. How was your day? Did your teacher give you quizzes? Still? But let's praise God because though it's week of prayer, our minds is still working, right? And I'm glad that you're back. In the fourth, for the fourth session of our week of prayer. And I'm so excited, friends, to share it with you, the message of the Lord this afternoon. Since yesterday morning, we are dealing about family, how important it is to have a Christ-centered family through the life of Adam and Eve. And then we move to Isaac. Isaac is one of the ancestors of God's kingdom. And even Joseph, this morning, still he has that relationship in his sibling. And I know for sure you have your idea already in your mind what would be my topic this afternoon since we sang that song. And I know someday, friends, that this person whom we're going to discuss will be part of of our lives as well. But before that, may I invite everyone to bow your heads as I kneel for a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you so much for being so good to us, for your love continually reigneth in our hearts. Lord God, this afternoon, here are your children, ready to receive your word. Use me as a mouthpiece, loving God. Open our hearts for your words. Let the Holy Spirit transform us and see our lives, how we need a Savior, how we need a mother whom continually bestowing her love to us. Bless us, Lord. We ask this in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friends, I would like to ask you, have you ever given up something in your life which is special? Or probably a special someone in your life that may trigger your emotion when you let go of them. For example, you have this kid or a baby that was asked to be given to other people or it seems like they will adopt your kid or your child or for some, they will ask your things, special things in your life, then you will give it to them. When you let go, when you release that person or that thing, did you feel like you, your part, the part of your life is breaking? That there's something, there's an emptiness 